of you guys welcome back to my channel it's you got black underscore queen 21 ig that's black with two c's no can i'm getting back i'm a christian aka if i run into your work aka confirm because now we have a ghost because they've been doing about i don't think i ever did one of these videos before i most definitely have it but i just wanted to talk about um something i just want to share um it has to be it's related about god and stuff recently god has showed me a place where i wasn't as grateful so for example like i go through trials and tribulations and all these things and i'm stressing about life and i'm i'm just so stressed out but um he showed me that a prayer that i was praying for a long time has been answered and i just want to share it with you guys so you know if you're going through the same thing of a season of isolation a season of loneliness and just a season of just being by yourself like maybe you have no friends no one around you no family no relationships or whatever you're going through just you just have no one around you you're just like in this season of isolation and so I've been in the season of isolation for a very long time and I totally forgot about a prayer that I would pray to God a lot a lot a lot a lot and this prayer I just kept asking God, God, please, I just want to be at peace. I just want to be at peace, God. Please just give me peace, Lord. And I will pray this prayer over and over and over every single night. I said, every single night, I would just say, God, please, I just want peace over my life. And without me realizing it, I was already living in that prayer. I was already living and that answer prayer without me even realizing it and i just wanted to share this with you guys because you might be in isolation you might not have anyone around you but it is the most peaceful i've ever been in my whole life see as humans we tend to focus on what we don't have than what we already have what god has already given us what god has already blessed us with so a lot i just been like god i need this god i need that god and it's always great to make your 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 thoughts and what's on your heart known to god but it also but it's also great to just be appreciative of what he's already given you and just allow yourself to see and i'm so grateful that god has taken off the show over my eyes because i wouldn't have seen that i was already living in an answered prayer and so I might be by myself, I might be in isolation, but I am at peace. Whatever I'm going through, whatever trial and tribulation that has came my way, I still been at peace. And I just, so, I'm so grateful for that because it truly is what God tells us. He says, you will have peace in the midst of your storm with me like when god was on the boat and he fell asleep and his disciples were like oh the storm is coming the storm is coming they were panicking and stuff and god's like but you're with me you know oh ye of little faith you know calm down and he stopped the storm and it's the same with us so with with all these things going around us we will still have peace when we are with god and I just, I had to tell God, yo, God, I just, I just realized that you gave me the peace that I've been asking for. For a long time, I'm searching for this thing, this thing, this thing, this thing. I'm like, God, where is this? Where is that? But I, I felt to appreciate, I felt to realize before that I needed to be still in what was already given to me. See, God wants you to enjoy what he has already given to you. Just like a great father. Like, he gives you a blessing. Okay, sit down and enjoy that one. He got more coming for you. But sit down and enjoy the blessing that he's already given you. And it's just so amazing. And, and I'm just, like, truly grateful uh, to have God in my life. Because if I didn't y'all if i didn't have god the way i look at this world and see a lot of the people in this world i would never want to be like them even people that i know i look at people that i know and like 
yo, I'm so happy I got, I, I'm so happy I got God because I never want to be like you. And it's not to sound cocky or anything because everyone can be blessed to have God if they truly accept him. And so it's just up to you if you want to accept. And I'm just so grateful that my heart was open enough to accept him, you know, to accept God. And it's just a reminder that God is always listening. He knows what we're going to say before we say it, and he still chooses to listen to us. God hears you, and it's just God's perfect timing for everything. Like, he's never late. He's on time. Just keep striving for God and keep being obedient um, to the Word of God. And just a reminder that you're not a slave to the Bible. But if you choose to not follow the Bible, you are a slave to sin. It doesn't matter whether you worship God or worship yourself or any other idol you're a slave to something so you might be like christians are slaves to the holy bible but you're a slave to satan you're a slave to evil you're a slave to something whether no matter what you choose you are a slave to something and i'd rather be a slave to something good you know, because we all as human beings, we know what's good and what's bad. And when you read the Bible, it's truly good. Like, I don't find it slavery that God wants me to love myself, to love him and to love others. I don't find it slavery that God doesn't want me to be angry or cursing or any foul language coming out of my mouth I don't find it slavery that God wants me to not get drunk to not to that God wants me to be sober I don't find that slavery I don't find that slavery that God wants me to be in a community with uh, like-minded individuals I don't find that slavery that sounds like someone showing me that I'm worth more than what the world says I am worth and it just reminds me of my favorite verse. It's Proverbs 3.15. She's more precious than rubies and jewels. And anything you desire cannot compare to her. It reminds me that my worth is in Christ and not in the world. And I just, I'm just so very grateful uh, for just God keeping his hands over my life. Over my life, you guys. So... Today I just want to have a chat about how amazing God is and maybe open your eyes on this situation of maybe you've been praying for something for a long time and it hasn't been answered or you think it hasn't been answered. Um, this might be an eye opener for someone. So I, I, I pray that this blesses someone and I pray that um, God just continues to speak to me and uh, through me and use me in all ways possible. I just I just pray for, and I just pray for anyone behind this screen that is dealing with anything I just pray that God keeps his hands over your life and that you will flourish and he will lay your your table for you in front of those who uh, persecuted you and those who hate you God will bless you in front of your enemies and i just pray this over your life today also pray that you continue to accept god as your lord and savior and you continue to walk in faith uh 